Happy Tuesday and good morning. I'm Andy Ross, pastor at Northminster Presbyterian Church, and I want you to think today about grubs. I have a number of plants in our front yard, and uh, several of them are springtime green and vibrant and growing and sprouting from winter stickness, except for one. One of my hedge bushes is just chopped down sticks. Nothing's happening. I went out there a few days ago to figure out what's going on. I kicked the dirt, and right at the surface where I kicked the dirt was this science fiction alien worm creature that went back down into the soil. It was gross. Grubs. Grubs. You can't see them. They live under the soil surface, and they eat away at the roots of life vitality. Do you see where I'm going with this? Jesus told a number of stories, and one of them was about soils. He talked about how a person receives God's word, receives God's spirit like soil conditions. Your life might be thorny, and the the pleasures of this world are choking out God's word. Uh, your life might be like hard pavement. You're not willing to even receive God's word. Um, your, your life might be full of rocks. Yeah, you love Jesus and the idea of faith, but you're not really willing to grow and uh, follow Jesus. And then Jesus talks about really good soil. On the good soil, Jesus said, the seed came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. Right now, we are in an age of grub emotions all around because the fear and the medical crisis is real. But it's our emotions that can get the best of us at times. Our anxieties and just dread fears can eat away at the roots of who you are, who God wants you to be. I uh, acquired some grub death stuff you spread on the ground, and it knocks out the grubs. What are some grub bait pellets you can be using today, this week, to help you in your walk with Christ? Maybe it's listening to some praise music quietly listening to the words. Maybe it's going for a walk and just breathing fresh air. Maybe it's making a blessing list. What are the blessings in my life where I can see God's hand still with me? Maybe it's reading in this Holy Week the story of Jesus in Jerusalem leading up to the cross and how your Savior willingly underwent such passion, ache, even death, so that you can thrive and live in his spirit today. Happy Tuesday. Take care of those grubs.